I've got an issue with my uh, Pentair Rainbow Model 320 chlorinator. The chlorine pots are not melting down, and I think this thing is clogged. So I've got my pump off, I've got the chlorinator off, and uh, I don't have any tablets in here, so I don't have to worry about chlorine fumes, but um, there's about two or three inches of water in here, and it should be empty. It should be draining, uh, but it's not. So we're gonna remove this thing and uh, and see if we can't figure out what's going on. As you can tell, I've already removed I've removed the screen and I've removed the uh, all the chlorine. So the only thing in there, the only thing that could be clogging this is the is the kind of check valve at the bottom. So we're going to take a look at that. First thing you do and and you can put the valve up here or down at the bottom and pressure valve on the other it's easier to control it if it's way up here. So I have that off. You unscrew the hose, and you're gonna create a. You're gonna break the vacuum in your in your in your lines here, but that's okay. There it goes. And we'll just unscrew. There, there, there it goes. And we'll unscrew this. And then way at the bottom. There is a little Phillips screw, not a Phillips screw, flathead screw that uh, that you unscrew, and then we unscrew. Once you get that screw out, we unscrew this whole thing from the uh, return line, and then we'll take a look at it. All right, so we're unscrewing the chlorinator, and it's off. Okay, so there's no clog in there, which means the clog has to be in that valve thing. So let's empty this thing out. Alright, so this is the valve that should be loose. So I'm gonna get a wrench here. Got an adjustable wrench. You, uh, you, wanna, you don't want to get grip too tight on this thing to crack it because it is plastic, but carefully loosen it. And once you get it loose, there we go. It should, should loosen on its own. But uh, get, get that thing out of there. So we, we've got the check valve removed. As you get, it's got some thread tape on there, which is good. Be careful, this ring in here, this gasket, don't lose that, that's important, or your chlorinator will leak. So if you shake this thing, you don't hear anything, which tells me it's probably clogged. Now this is, uh, you, you could go through the, you know, soak it with something, hey bud, and, uh, and try to unclog it, but it's just an $8 part, so I've opted to replace it. So. Again, you don't hear anything when you shake this one, but here's a new part. Check valve is clear in there. That's how, that's why I'm pretty sure this is the bad thing. So we're going to put some thread tape on this. Make sure you don't lose this gasket or your chlorinator will leak. And then we'll put everything back together and see how it works. We've got the new check valve in. Still clear. That's where that uh, bottom screw goes. Um, and while I had this thing out, I went ahead and put in the, uh, the screen or the, the, the screen in the holder so the chlorine, uh, tablets can bleed. It's a lot easier to do this while it's, while it's detached if you've got small enough hands or a kid with small enough hands to do that. There are four little kind of teeth at the bottom of this thing that hold mine in place. I don't know about yours, but, uh, just make sure that's in there good and tight. And it doesn't come out when you turn it upside down. But as long as it's uh, clear, you should be good to go. So we're going to put this thing back on the uh, back on the return line and fire it up. See what happens. Again, make sure this gasket is in place in there. And while you have this thing off, go ahead and pre-thread that screw. It's a really small flathead, and it's really hard to put it in there. You know, unless you have the right size socket or a really thick flathead screw to hold it while you put it in. And then we uh, we put it back on here, screw it on. All right, not too tight, not too tight, or we'll damage something. And we'll tighten this guy. So it doesn't go anywhere. OK, 
okay, just tight enough. We'll re reinstall the, the valve here. One handed, come on buddy. Still got some thread tape on there. If that looks bad or you have leaks, be sure to um, be sure to replace it. You don't need much, just a few passes. And do I want to make this go one more time around? Yeah, let's see if I can. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, that ain't going no place. We'll reattach the hose here. Oh, look at this. Almost one-handed. Screw on the sleeve. And our chlorinator is reinstalled. So what I'm gonna do, so now our pump's bled down and everything, there's a vacuum system's compromised, blah, blah, blah. So everything's in here. Before we test this out, we're gonna get everything else up and ready. So let's, let's kick on the main. gaskets in place. Opening this guy up. Let's open up the valve. About halfway. All right. So we've got some water in there. Now, the big test is that if I turn off the pump, this should drain. So let's see what happens. Killing the pump. Look at that go. Boom. We got a fixed pump, guys. So I'm going to fill this with about uh, nine tablets. And uh, our chlorinator is now officially unclogged. Thanks for watching.